Wait, I thought Che said that Barry and Paul died in the death tunnel. Why are their bones here? Hey guys, what's up? LD Shia Lady here and welcome to a brand new custom adventure map made just for me by the lovely Smallish Beans, aka Joel. If you watch Joel's videos too, then you probably have a little bit of an idea what is going on, but for those of you that don't, Joel has made a few videos about making an adventure map for me, and he even used some of your suggestions, so I'm really excited to play this, let's do it! So I guess this is my bedroom, it looks very Lizzy, it's very pink, and we have this ominous pink chest here saying open me, so, ooh, we got blueberry pie, a read me, and a wooden sword. A wooden sword, Joel, really? Is that all? What kind of woman do you think I am? Let's give this a read then. Hey Lizzie, a few rules. No breaking blocks unless it states you can. Game mode S and normal mode is needed. You must have fun. Also, try to talk to everyone as they all have dialogues. Feel free to explore. Joel. Okay, awesome. Let's start off by just nomming on this blueberry pie because I am already hungry. Hungry for adventure. Mmm, these are delicious. First of all, gonna ignore that noise outside and check out my house. This is so cute. Why can't Joel's real life interior design skills be this good? Oh, this is my kitchen. Cute. Okay. Now, what is that crying noise outside? Oh look, it's Joel. Maybe he's crying over how adorable my garden is. Or maybe not. Oh my gosh, Lizzie, a terrible thing has happened. Oh no, Joel, what's the matter? It's Buddy! I don't know where he's gone. I've been looking for him all morning and I can't find him. Oh no, what can we do to find him? Hmm, I think our best bet is to head to the local village and ask around to see if anyone has seen him. Can you go now? I'll catch up to you in a bit. What the? Excuse me? Of course I can't survive without that cat. No way I'm going back to sleep. You do it. I love Buddy too much. I've got to go. Okay, great. I really hope he's okay. Okay, bye. Don't do anything with that pig while I'm gone. Okay, so let's head towards the village then through this beautiful forest. Oh, Sally's house. Grumpy Gary lives here. Yes, he's who I want to talk to. What do you want? Hey, I've lost my cat. Have you seen a cat at all today? No, I have not. Please get off my property. I saw that one coming. Hello, Sally. Have you seen my feline friend? Oh, hey, Lizzie. Nice to finally meet you. Hey there. Nice to meet you too. I don't suppose you've seen a cat wander by? Hmm, I don't recall seeing a cat. What do you mean, see? Well, a strange looking man walked through here and he seemed to be making cat noises. What? <laughs> what did he look like? I only glanced at him when he ran by. Maybe someone else saw him. You should ask around. Good idea, Sally. You are just full of- Joey! Hey, Joey. How's it going? Have you stolen my cat? Oh, hey, lasagna! Spell lasagna wrong. <laughs> that says lasagna. <laughs> Joey, I didn't know you lived here. Yes, girl! I moved in last week. Isn't this place to die for? It is, but at the moment, things aren't too great. Oh, no. What's up? It's Buddy. He's missing. Oh dear, can I help at all? Well, the only clue I have so far is that a man ran through the village making cat noises. Oh, that must have been the man Wolf and Storm were barking at earlier. He was dressed very weirdly. I couldn't see his face as he was wearing a hooded cloak. He seemed to be in a hurry to get somewhere. Hmm, he must have come this way then. Thanks, Joey. Anything for you, girl. Oh, such a sweetheart you are, Joey. Thank you for your help. Let's make sure we ask everyone else. We don't want to leave any stone unturned. And Ellie, you are one of the stones I need to turn. Hello, sweetie. How can I help? Have you seen a man run through here? He may have been making cat noises. No, I haven't seen anyone matching that description. I've been outside all day, so I would have seen him if he had come this way. Okay, so I guess he didn't go that way then. So he must have gone this way. Clara, hello. Why, hello there. You can call me Clara. Hey, I'm Lizzie. Have you seen a man in a cloak wear making weird cat noises? What a peculiar way to describe someone, but yes, I have. Did you see where he was heading to? I think he went to the bridge over there. Ooh, okay. All evidence points towards this bridge, so I think it's time to cross the bridge. Sword out, because you've got to be ready. <gasps> Who's that? It's a guard. Hello, guard. Halt! Before you enter this zone, let me warn you that this is a dangerous area. Make sure you are well prepared before entering. Oh dear, I'm not prepared at all. Just down the road, you can find Sasha's shop of stuff. You may be able to find some stuff to help you there. Cool. Okay, let's look for Sasha's shop of stuff. Oh no, what? There's a construction worker. Hey there, sorry, the bridge is closed today. Oh no, what happened? There was an explosion. 
A lot of weird stuff has been happening around these areas recently. Oh dear, that's not good. I really need to get to Sasha's shop though. Hmm, there is another way through the cave just back there. But be careful, it's dangerous. I will be careful. I love you. I guess we're going through the cave then. Wait, hang on. Those are pressure plates. Should I avoid them? Yeah. <gasps> oh, no, I didn't avoid them very well. Stop, you're gonna set off more. There'll be more zombies. Oh dear. Okay, now I got a little bit of lava pack on, no big deal. Oh, oh dear. Let's try that again. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Did it. Now, who does Buddy love more? Lizzie or Joel? Well, I know he loves me more, but maybe since Joel made the map, then Joel is the right answer. But I know Joel knows that Buddy loves me more, so I'm gonna pick this star. Oh, is this the wrong way? He loves me more, okay? Okay, I picked the wrong door. Uh-oh, I can't get out. No! This is what I get for being wrong. Dang it. Okay, fine, Joel. Buddy loves you more. Correct, he loves me more. As a reward, take this wood shovel to help you out. Need some music discs. What? Well, I'll take the music discs. You never know when they'll come in handy. Right, well, let's go then with my music discs to help me. Oh great, a netherrack maze, just what I wanted. Oh, I hate mazes! Joel, you know this. Oh my gosh, what's that? Ew, what's wrong with you? Gross spider thing. I think I found the way out. Oh my gosh, it's yummy. <laughs> I thought that was the exit. Oh my gosh, Lizzie, what year is it? I feel like I've been in here forever. If you get out, let me know which way it is. Okay, I'll go. This has got to be the way. Ooh, a key! Red key! Got it! Now I just need to find something that this opens. Perhaps the exit. Oh my gosh, I'm so lost. Where am I? Oh my gosh, Tiff's in here as well. Lizzie, is that you? I've been in here for three weeks. I just wanted to get an apple for lunch and this was the only way with the bridge being closed and all. Good luck with your escape. Thanks, Tiff. See you later. Hope you get that apple. Oh, here's the door. Hmm, maybe there is a key needed for this door. Maybe it's the key that I have, huh? Yes. Okay, what's the trick here? I'm a little bit scared. Is it toxic water? Oh, what's this? Stacy's dog and cat cafe. Stacy, why have you opened a dog and cat cafe in a cave? What? And why is Scott here? Okay, what's going on? Oh, hey there, Lizzie. I wasn't expecting to see you here. Stacy? What is this? It's my cat cafe. I can see that, but why is it here? Shops aren't cheap, Lizzie. The rent on this place is super cheap, actually. <laughs> I can imagine. Yeah, it's a shame about the whole death maze thing, but business isn't bad. Speaking of cats and dogs, have you seen Buddy? I haven't, sorry. It's been pretty quiet here lately. Oh wait, apart from the bridge exploding in the early hours of the morning, of course. Wait, the bridge exploded this morning? Oh yes, all my poor little animals are still recovering. Bless their little souls. Interesting. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you. Now, Scott, tell me more. What is this dog doing to that squirrel? I don't even want to know. Scott? Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I just want them all. I'm addicted to this place. Wow, Scott, so helpful. Thanks for all your help. Now, if I could just take these cats with... Dang it. I can't take them with me. I needed them for my adventures and my safety. Oh well. Let's set my spawn. And then parkour back. Huh, wait, where do I go? Oh my gosh, a ladder jump? Really, Joel? Are you the devil? Ha! Huh, I did it! And now, freedom! I can taste it. They're pressure plates. That's not good. I'm gonna try and jump over them. Yeah! I missed. Whoa! It was just an arrow, though. I made it. Ha! Huh. And now, a spiderweb maze. Another of my favorites. But I aced it, just like I knew I would. And now we're on the other side, I guess. <gasps> Sasha's shop, oh my gosh, I found it. Sasha's shop of stuff and things. <gasps> Sasha, hello. Hey Lizzie, welcome to my shop. How can I help you today? Hey Sasha, unfortunately, Buddy is missing. Oh no, that's terrible. I haven't seen him though, unfortunately. That's okay, I'm here to get some armor and a weapon as I may have to fight off some monsters in the search for him. Well, you've come to the right place. I can hook you up with some swag if you quickly help me. Sure thing, how can I help? 
Well, I need some milk for my coffee. Any chance you can bring me three buckets of milk from the cows outside? That should last me. How much coffee do you need, Sasha? Three buckets of milk? I'm just gonna milk the one cow from his bountiful teat of endless milk. Thank you. And now, here you are, Sasha. Thanks so much, Lizzie. Here, take these. I hope they help you get Buddy back. Yeah! Ooh, we got an emerald sword, some iron boots, and an iron helmet. Nice! Now I look super cute and I'm dangerous. Why couldn't I have this armor though? I was thinking about stealing it, but I won't steal from Sasha. Oh my gosh, oh this armor. Dang it, there's so much more cool armor. And weapons, look at these axes. And I get this sword. Oh well. Okay, so now that we have armor, I guess we can go to Creeper Capital. I'm not sure I want to go there. Do not enter unless you are brave and prepared. Well, one out of two isn't bad. Let's just be cautious. Is that blood? <gasps> it's Joel! Ah! Wait, I wasn't ready. <laughs> Oh, that wasn't so spooky. Hello. Oh, thank goodness it's you. I see you followed the trail here too. Yes, I did, but I made a stop off at Sasha's shop. I can see that you look very prepared. I don't suppose you got me some armor as well. Oh, I did not. You should have said something. Oh, darn. <laughs> I guess I'm pretty useless then. Well, good luck, bring Buddy back safely. I'll be at home playing video games. Well, typical doll, leaving me to do all the dangerous stuff myself. Oh, oh no, it got spooky in here. What is this place? Who's Piper Scatterbug? You are adorable. Why are you in such a spooky place? Hello, you look pretty. My dog likes eating mice. Right, and rice. Why? Because I don't let him eat my neighbors. He already ate Billy whilst I left my sister in charge. I was gone for an hour and all we have left for his grave was his heart and his left wrist bone. Charlie, don't eat this nice lady! Right, okay. Charlie, please don't eat me. What is in her house? A lot of holes and blood. That's horrible! I don't like this place already. Who's this? I'll figure vegan. <laughs> hey you! Hey? You seem new! You are so pink and kawaii! Pink is so cute though. Yas! Why are you here? I'm looking for my cat, Buddy. I haven't seen him, but if you want to find out something, I would speak to the Tower Master. Okay, now leave. I'm trying to enjoy the view. Right, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, is this a panda? Hello, Jelly Hammy. Hee <laughs> hee. Hi there, I was wondering if you have heard any cat noises. Hee <laughs> hee. Um. Hee. <laughs> I'm just gonna go now. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, that was helpful. <gasps> Hey, have you seen my- What do you want? I just wanted to ask if you've seen my- Look, I don't care about whatever you're gonna- Let me speak! Have you seen my cat? Oh, why didn't you just ask? I heard cat noises earlier, but that's none of your business. Great, thanks for all your help, Ruby. So we know some strange cloaked cat man has been here. Ooh, is this the graveyard? A lot of graves for such a tiny place. Oh my gosh, more graves. Why? I hope this guy is unlike everyone else in this town and he's actually super friendly and very helpful. It's CPK. Now I'm scared. Oh, hey Lizzie, what are you doing here? Hey CPK, I could ask the same for you. True, true. I'm actually looking for Buddy. Have you seen or heard a cat meowing? Buddy? No. Why would I have seen Buddy? He's your cat. Why would I have seen him? <laughs> right, are you sure? Nope, definitely not seen him. Anyway, Lizzie, whilst you're here, maybe you could help me with something. See, I left my shoes at my granny's. I don't suppose you could collect them for me. Hmm, sure. Oh good, she lives not far from here, on the other side of the Creeper City and across the bridge. Thanks so much! Great. Okay. Why am I trying to help CPK out? That doesn't get me any closer to finding Buddy. Let's find the bridge and try and get across to Granny's. Good. Just gotta collect his shoes. Because for some reason he's too lazy to do it himself. <gasps> this bridge is so cute! Granny, can I have your house please? Look how adorable it is! Oh my gosh, she's got gnomes and everything. Whoa! Oh, it's so nice and bright and light here. Oh, Granny. Oh, you are adorable! Oh, hello there, Petal. What's your name? Hey, my name is Lizzie. What a lovely name. How can I help you today? CBK sent me to get his shoes. Do you know where they are? Oh, that lazy boy! Sending a lovely young lady like you to do his work. His shoes are just in the basement down the stairs. Can you be a darling and get them yourself? My knees aren't the same as they used to be. Okay, Granny, where's the basement? Oh, it's over here. I'd be happy to go down there and get them. Ooh, a diamond door. Very nice. <gasps> Granny? Che! What, what, what happened? 
OMG! Lizzie! Are you real? Is that you? Oh no, I'm imagining things again. Stop it, Che. You're going crazy. Or am I already crazy? <laughs> I don't know. Wow, I need to keep talking. Keep saying. Keep- Che! It's actually me. What is this place? Oh, thank goodness. I'm not crazy. This is some kind of dungeon. CPK and his grandma trapped people down here. CPK kept apologizing, saying he didn't want to trap us. And he kept saying about how he was forced to. What do you mean, us? There were more? Oh, yes. Barry and Paul were here with me. They didn't make it. Che! I bet Che ate them. <laughs> oh, no, that's horrible. Why did you all come down here? I don't know. We were visiting Ollie, and I think he was annoyed by how loud we were being. Then CBK asked us all to go get his shoes for him. Oh my gosh, he did the same to me. Yeah, I mean his shoes are there on the wall taunting us. Is there no way out at all? Well, there's the death tunnel. But as you can tell by the name, you face certain death by going through it. That's how I lost the others. I have to try it. I have to find my cat. Good luck. Don't forget the shoes. Okay, where are the shoes? Here they are. Let's grab these. Wait, I thought Che said that Barry and Paul died in the death tunnel. Why are their bones here? I knew he ate them. Okay, let's give this death tunnel a try. This looks manageable. Lava, ladder, and fire parkour. Oh, this is easy. I don't know why they call this the death tunnel. It should be called the easy parkour tunnel. Oh, no. That's new. <gasps> no! Oh, Che. You were right. Well, at least we respawn. I don't know why Che is just sitting here instead of actually trying to escape. There is so much parkour. What is the purpose of this death tunnel? Let's get out of here. I see the light. I see freedom. Oh, wow. You escaped. Well, you better come see me, I guess. Okay. <gasps> oh, you got out. That wasn't meant to happen. But I guess I can tell you that to find Buddy, you should head over to the fire beach to Ollie's house. Maybe he can help you. Ugh, why did I give him the boots? He just trapped me in a dungeon. an heck. Right, let's go see if Ollie knows anything. I bet Ollie was the one that stole Buddy. Also, I'm trapped in cobwebs. <laughs> it's just what I wanted. Oh my gosh. This is beautiful. <gasps> I love it. Now, I just need to get over it. Oh my gosh, is that Ollie's house? I'm not sure I like the idea of parkouring over fire. But here we are. I'm almost out. Yeah, ow. Yeah. Oh, yoo-hoo, Oliver, are you home? Better not have my cat in here. Where is it? <gasps> Ollie, what's going on? Lizzie, uh, what are you doing here? Ollie, what is going on? Wait, is that Buddy? Lizzie, I can explain. You better. I've been looking everywhere for him. Right, well, it all started the other night when I was heading over to your house to ask you guys if you wanted to come for food. Why don't you text us? It's 2016, Ollie. I thought if I did it in person, you couldn't say no. Anyway, I was walking down the path. I noticed Buddy sat there. I just looked into his eyes and we made a connection. What? <laughs> a connection? A romantic connection. Oh, uh, Ollie, he's a cat. I know, I know. That's why I brought him back here to my lab. Plus, cats aren't too similar to sheep, so don't judge me. What on earth were you planning to do with him here? Well, I thought I could make a potion to make Buddy human, or make me into a cat, so we could be together forever. What the heck, Ollie? So you trapped him in a cage? Yes, I did. And then I took the potion I made. Turns out, it wasn't a transformation potion, but actually a short-term memory potion. And now I have no idea where the key is to get him out. Oh, Ollie. Do you have any idea where you could have left it? Well, I woke up in my sheep pen, so maybe I dropped it in there somewhere. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lizzie. I should never have done this. I don't even feel the connection anymore. I must have just eaten something weird that day. It's okay, Ollie. I forgive you. I'm just glad Buddy is safe. Thank you. Good luck finding the key. So you aren't even going to help me. You stole my cat and locked him in a cage. And now you aren't even going to help me get him out. Poor Buddy. What is wrong with that boy? Oh my gosh. What is that? Some kind of bear horse thing. That's horrible. Ollie's house is horrifying. Now, let's have a look. Where is the key? Which one of you ate it? Hmm? Was it you? Was it you, Barry? No, it wasn't you. <gasps> a weird looking sheep. Maybe it was him. Did you eat the key? Hello? Wait, you can talk? Yep, Ollie made me able to talk and stuff. Right, okay then. I don't suppose you've seen a purple key. Yeah, I have it. Great, can I have it? Well, you can, but this pen is a little overcrowded. I'll give you the key if you kill two sheep in here so I can have a little more room. Sure, anything for Buddy. Oh my gosh, I'm going to kill some sheep for this evil sheep. Well, I'm sorry. Oh dear. Sorry about that. Ah, now I can breathe. Take the key. Wow, thanks, dude. Enjoy the pen. Why didn't he just ask me to let him out of the pen? 
But no, he made me murder people. We're so close. We almost have Buddy freed. I have the key. Oh, thank goodness you found the key. Take Buddy home now, Lizzie. I won't ever kidnap him again. Dang right you won't. Right, come on, buddy. Come on, I bet he's hungry. Let's get you out of here, buddy, before Ollie tries to make sweet, sweet cat love to you. Oh my gosh. Maybe we should rescue this thing too. I, I worry that he's next. Well, we finally rescued Buddy, and that is the end of the adventure map that Joel made for us. First of all, thank you to Joel for making this map, and if you haven't already, make sure to go check out his channel and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. Don't forget to leave a like on this video as well if you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Also, don't hold cats like this. They don't like it.